Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Even before I start this video, I would just like to thank you all from the very bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for all the love, for all the likes, comments and shares. My channel has literally grown a lot in the past one, one and a half week uh, and it just feels so much satisfying to seeing that whatever that you're putting out is being validated for, from everybody around. So whether you're from the north of the country or the south or whichever part, thank you so much for joining in. For all those who are new to my channel, hi guys, my name is Kavaj and I'm a content creator who has been creating videos on YouTube from the past three years. I help in career clarity, in helping you prepare for your next step after your class 12th, which is basically your colleges. So any kind of preparation that you need for that will be taken care of in my particular channel itself. Uh, I would provide you all the information that you need, whether it's a campus tour, on a student experience, reviews about particular colleges and like I said, preparation for the same. You all can definitely also see me personally for my personal guidance and doubt clearing session for an interview preparation 101 and for a micro presentation if you want to prepare for your communication skills. At the same time, I'm also very much available on Instagram. So please make sure that you follow me on Instagram and give me the love like you've given me on YouTube. I've just started creating content on Instagram as well and also I'm open to any feedback that you would have for the same uh, I'm loving that the community is growing so much and please please keep showering in your love I'm very greedy for love so please do that coming back to this particular video this video is about Christ University and I'm going to clear one very important doubt that I have been receiving a lot of queries about which is your entrance test now naturally you know that Christ University has entrance tests across a lot of the courses whether it's your UG or PG undergrad or postgrad they have entrance tests for a lot of the courses. Also, interviews and micro presentations are kind of compulsory in Christ University. So that is like a mandatory thing for all the courses that you would apply. Entrance tests, some courses do not have it, but I would say 95% of the courses at Christ University have gotten an entrance test. So you naturally need to be preparing for the same. One major doubt that I have been receiving from parents and students is what is the pattern for the entrance test. A lot of people are really very confused, specifically masters related people. So all the PG people, they are in fact preparing for the UG syllabus, which is not correct. Every course at Christ University has got a different entrance test pattern. Yes, some of the sections are common like a verbal or a quants, but some of them are not. Some of them are domain related or subject related. So I don't want you to get into any kind of confusion and I will be sharing with you the official document of Christ University which has the exact pattern that is going to come for your entrance test along with the minimum, along with the marks that you would, along with the sectional marks that you would have to be appearing for in that entrance test. So make sure you watch this video till the very end. One doubt I'll clear before I even jump to that which is that do we need to apply for different campus separately? And the answer for that is yes and a no. So basically what happens is that because in Bangalore itself, Christ University has got four different campuses. There is Central Campus, there is Kengeri Campus, there is Banagata Road Campus and now there is also new Yashwantpur Campus. So for all these campuses, if there is a same course that is offered in all these campuses, I would suggest you to apply specifically and separately for all of these campuses. Yes, your email ID can be one, no problem about that. In fact, if you're applying for the same course under the same department, you just have to give one entrance test and you will naturally be giving in different interviews. I'll explain this to you with an example because I don't want you all to get confused. Suppose that you are applying for this course called BBA slash honors slash honors with research at Christ University. Now this course is offered in all the campuses of Christ University. Okay, I, I don't think so it's offered in the Banagata, but even if it is, like assume that it's offered in all the campuses. So there is BBA slash honors slash honors with research in Central Campus, in Kengeri Campus, in Yashwantpur Campus, and in Banagata Road Campus. And suppose you have shortlisted to apply for Kengeri Campus and Banagata Road Campus. You don't want to apply to Central or Yashwantpur. Then you should be filling two different forms. One for Kengeri and one for Banagata Road Campus. The benefit of this will be that you just have to give one entrance test which will be common for both of them and you will be appearing for two separate interviews, one for Kingeri campus and one for Banagata road campus. So I hope that is clear. Why am I saying no then if you have to have to apply uh, for particularly for all the different campuses? It is a no for Delhi NCR and Lavasa. If you specifically want to apply for those, great, you can do that. But at the same time, I have seen from past experiences that if students are rejected from the Bangalore campus, they are automatically also given the option to apply or to get admission directly in the Delhi NCR and the Pune Lavasa. 
I am not sure whether it will 100% happen this year as well. It might, it might not. Uh, we will have to wait for the first round to see. But last year, a lot of students got this option where, you know, if they were rejected in the Bangalore campus because the acceptance rate is very less, like I've always told in my previous videos, there's 5 to 7%. And, and then it varies from campus to campus and course to course. And in that case, if you're getting rejected, they will automatically say that, congratulations, like, unfortunately, this course, unfortunately, you've not been selected in the Bangalore campus for your preference course. But the same or a similar course is available in Delhi NCR and Pune Lavasa. So you can directly reach out to the management there. And that happens. So I hope I am clear till now. And I hope I have been able to solve this one of the most asked doubts. And if you think that it was genuinely helpful, please yeah, uh, smash the like button and let YouTube know that I'm creating good content. Okay, and please, please follow me on Instagram and share my channel with your friends and everybody around. Coming back to my screen now, what you see here is masters. Okay, so all the master's courses, majority of them have gotten an entrance test. Yes, MBA doesn't because MBA is look, looks out for a competitive exam. I will read the very important guidelines that Christ University has put. Now, this is for MSc in clinical psychology. Candidates who have applied for MSc clinical psychology and have also applied for MSc counseling psychology or MSc, whichever the counseling is, yeah, uh, MSc psychology, health and well being or M MSc education psychology need to only appear for MSc clinical psychology entrance test and the score obtained will be valid for the other programs as well. However, each of them will have a separate interview. I've already told you this thing before. Now, candidates who have applied for MSc in Neuropsychology and who have also applied for MSc in Counseling, Psychology, HRDM, Clinical, uh, Counseling, Health and Wellbeing, Education need to appear for MSc in Neuropsychology entrance test. In terms of pattern, now very important guys, MSc in Psychology which is Clinical has got this. Please take a screenshot of this. There's General Psychology, Biological Psychology, Social Psychology, Abnormal Psychology, Research Basic Techniques and Cognitive Psychology. All of it is of 20 marks. By the way, I've also made an honest student experience video with one of the current students of Masters in Psychology. So make sure you get go check out that video as well. She gave also really awesome and great tips of how you can prepare for all of these sections. Likewise, there is the other MSc in Educational Counseling, Psychology HRDM, Psychology HRDM with MA, uh, which happens in Germany. So you've got basic psychology of 30 marks, research aptitude of 15 marks, ethical concern of 15 marks, general aptitude of 15 marks, general knowledge and current affairs of 15 marks and likewise 30 marks is separate for whichever course you're applying. So if counseling, educational, then it's counseling psychology of 30 marks. If HRDM, then 15, 15 each for human resource management and industrial psychology. Uh, I am rushing through this because I'm sure that it's not valid to each and everybody who's watching this video. So for the benefit of everybody, I would suggest you to please take a screenshot of this screen. Likewise, there is pattern which is given for MSc in neuropsychology, MSc in clinical psychology, MSc in botany, very important guys. Please don't mess up there. Uh, MSc in health, uh, MSc in psychology, health and well-being, uh, MSc zoology, MSc biotechnology, MSc forensic science, and MCA, which is masters in computer application. For masters in computer application, you've got mathematics of 30 marks, analytical ability and logical ability of 35 marks, basics in computer science 25 marks, and general English of 30 marks. Each of this is of 120 marks and here are some very important guidelines which are also valid for UG program. You need to have a working mic, web camera enabled computer slash laptop with a good and stable internet connection and power backup. Uh, artificial in intelligence is proc Artificial intelligence proctoring is enabled. By the way, I've already made a very detailed video on the kind of hardware that is required and cheating and everything. So you can go watch my previous videos for the same as well. There is artificial proctoring and human proctoring. So cheating is kind of tough, but I also know a lot of people who are able to manage it. So I leave that option up to you. Um, you need to be available 30 minutes before the scheduled time to avoid any kind of technical glitch. Uh, there will be alerts through the software. It is the responsibility of the student, students to manage time. The timing for the entrance test is 90 minutes. So approximately 45 seconds per question. Okay. Likewise, all the other things are there. There is negative marking of minus 0.25 marks. So make sure that you prepare and have strategies accordingly. At the same time, you all can see me for my personal guidance and doubt clearing session. Once you want to work on your personal schedules, strategies of how you need to ace, material, everything uh, will be taken care of in personal guidance and doubt clearing session. So you can check it up. Now moving to UG, which is undergraduate programs and very important. And this is where I've gotten a lot of queries from as well. Uh, again, guys, I will not be able to go through each and every course. 
but you can take screenshots which will help you i will also be putting on the link in the description below of these particular official documents provided by christ university so that you don't mess up okay so for all the ba related courses which is like communication and media all the dual majors media and public affair media and journalism media and psychology english honors liberal arts political science slash honors slash honors with research you have got 40 marks english 20 marks general knowledge 10 marks current affairs 20 marks reasoning and then 30 marks of program specific so if you're going for english honors then you'll have 30 marks based on english honors if you have 30 marks of political science that means you're going for a ba in political science honors course 30 marks for liberal arts likewise for all the ba in economics and all those related courses which comes in the department of economics you've got economics uh, economics slash honors slash honors with research ba and bse then you've got economics in maths and stats uh, economics with data analytics economics with analytics uh, B.Sc. Data Science and Artificial Intelligence, B.Sc. in Data Science and Mathematics, B.Sc. in Data Science and Statistics, B.Sc. Uh, in Data Science and Math Data Analytics and Mathematics, Data Science slash Honors slash Honors with Research. You've got 20 marks of English, 15 marks of General Knowledge, 10 marks of Current Affairs, 20 marks of Reasoning, 15 marks of Mathematics, 15 marks of Data Analytics and Interpretation and 25 marks of economics slash computer science according to whichever course you're going for. If you're going for economics related courses, then 25 marks is on economics. And if you're going for 25 marks, and if you're going for any data analysis related course, it's going to be computer science. For all the BCom related courses, this is the pattern 2020, 2020 marks for all the uh, six different sections. The new section here is going to be fundamental accounting, okay, which is your class 11th and class 12th accounts. Okay, um, in BBA, that fundamental accounting is of 10 marks. Okay, so you've English, general knowledge, fundamental accounting, reasoning, mathematics, and data analysis and interpretation. Please take a screenshot of this, guys. I'm repeating it again. Do not mess it up because understanding your pattern is going to be very important of how you develop your strategies in terms of preparing for your Christ University entrances or the CUET. Okay, in terms of marks, negative marking, timing, it's all the same across all the courses. Uh, then there is law. Law as well is of 120 marks, but there are only five sections. Okay, so there is reasoning, data analysis, interpretation, current affairs, general knowledge, English. For psychology, there's a new introduction of 30 marks of psychology, which is your class 11th and 12th psychology. For BTEC, okay, which is engineering related courses, this they happen in the Kingeri campus of Christ University. You've got English of 15 marks, general knowledge 15 marks, reasoning 20 marks, data analytics and interpretation 15 marks, mathematics 25 marks, physics. 15 marks and chemistry 15 marks. This is your class 11th and 12th physics chemistry. For BBA and decision science slash honors slash honors with this. One very important thing that you need to note is that till last year, BBA decision science was under the same department or branch of BBA itself. So you have to give the same exam. But this year it is not the case. English here is of 25 marks, general knowledge 20 marks, fundamental accounting of 10 marks, 13 marks of reasoning, 10 marks of mathematics, 10 marks of data analysis and interpretation, and there are new three sections that they've introduced. One is quantitative aptitude, the other is pattern recognition, and the third is design thinking from problem solving. These are all the new sections that have come just this year itself, 10, 12, 10 marks respectively. So please prepare accordingly if you're appearing for a BBA in decision science course at Christ University. I've already made a very detailed and an honest student experience video with the current students of BBA in decision science where they've talked about the industry collaboration, their timings or when they work in the university and when they go out to in the real world and when they go out in the corporate office, how many days, what are the marks, criteria, placements, everything is taken care of. So please make sure you go watch that. Rules and regulations, like I said, are the same for this entrance test as well. One very important doubt that I've received from students is, Bhaiya, what should we do if you want to apply for BCom and BBA? What if our entrance test clashes? Because both of them are happening on the 14th of April. Guys, entrance test will not clash even though it is happening on the same date because timings will be different. BBA exam might happen from 9am in the morning and BCom will happen from 1pm. Okay, so they have designed it in such a manner that every student can apply for freaking all the sections. Okay, so you can even fill in a form for journalism and then BBA and then psychology and then BCom and then decision science and then law. 
all of that that's how they've designed the whole thing okay because not only you a lot of people are genuinely confused a lot of people want to explore all the options that they want to so you know they want to apply for bcom also they want to apply for bba also and see wherever they get admission so from that angle you can apply to as many courses as you want there will be no clash whatsoever in interviews sometimes yes clash can happen interviews do not happen on the same day interviews happen on the next day whether it might be on the 15th of april or the 16th or whenever uh, for interviews please please see me for my interview preparation 101 that is where i will take your mock prepare you give you the best answers and help you with your confidence body language each and everything uh, so please see me for that you can ask any of the current students at christ also i'm pretty sure they've taken those sessions and that's why they're there so please put uh, please see me there i will be putting on the link in the description below for the same so yes guys that's all i have for this particular video thank you so much for watching this video till the very end i was not expecting this video to be this long but then giving out information like this i don't want anything to be miscommunicated that's why i had to make this long but thank you so much for watching till the very end please like share comment subscribe and follow me on instagram and subscribe on youtube